What is going on everybody? My name is Mr. Relics. Welcome back to another video. Today is a stream tutorial and I'm going to be teaching you how you can add a death counter to your streams and this will work whether you are streaming on Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Mixer, if that still exists. I don't think it does but if it did you could do it on there as well. It's very easy to do and very very effective. So first of all, what you're going to need to do is have stream elements uh, attached to your uh, stream. So the way you do that is literally go to streamelements.com, log in on the platform that you want to stream on, and you want to invite the chatbot to your stream. The website will tell you exactly how you do this. I don't need to show you. Um, it will it will give you a really good tutorial, and it's dead straightforward. So once you have stream elements all set up and ready to go, first of all, you're going to need to go to chatbot. The chatbot is the main attraction here. The chatbot is going to control your death count. And the way it does that is via commands. Now you can make custom commands. So by default, if you go on chat commands, it will show up with all of these lovely commands that Stream Elements gives us that we can either enable or disable, depending on what we want. But we want custom commands. So first of all, we just want to add in a command uh, where we can list how many deaths we've got. So I've already had a few set up here. We have death. So this is just so the people in my chat can go to go to the chat and they can say, how many times have they died? Oh, Mr. Relics has died three times. What a noob. The way you get that actual count is through using variables. Now, the first time you make this, you won't have a variable. But when you type in the command, it will create the variable across your entire stream. So you only have to reference it once and then it will work no matter where you are. So I have just put Mr. Alex has died and then this variable here, which I will leave in the description down below. So this will work for you. Uh, what a noob. Now you can decorate this however you want. It doesn't have to be um, like I put it. It's your stream. You can decorate it however you want. But if you just had it like this, it would literally just respond with how many times you had died. So if you've died one time, it will literally just respond with the number one, which doesn't look very pretty, but again, entirely up to you how you want to do that. Now for this command, you want to set the user level to everyone because this is a command that everyone's able to use to see how many times you've died. It's very important that we check the user level on the commands moving forward because if everyone can control the other commands, it could cause a few issues for you. Always make sure you're saving the command. The next command I'm going to show you is how to add a death. So I've added a command here called add def, very creatively named I know. But you just want to put in the response here the dollar sign, that weird little opening bracket, count deaths, and that's going to increment your death counter by one. Now if you wanted to increment uh, your counter by a specific value, let's for example say you wanted to increment it by two, you can have uh, a fixed number in there as well, but by default we're just going to leave it as it is so it increments by one then you want to make sure the, mo the user level here is set to moderator uh, it can either be moderator super mo moderator or broadcaster entirely up to you how you want this to increment and who you want to be able to increment this i always set it to moderator just because the people that i've added as mods i trust them and yeah again entirely up to you but let's say let's say your moderators or yourself you make a mistake and you didn't in fact die it was a trick of the eyes something like that we're playing the game we think we've died we add the command and it says death count for but oh no we didn't die we somehow survived that count is now wrong how do we decrease the count by one well it's very simple exactly the same as add death except remember when i said you can add in a custom custom amount or how you want to increment it by well it works the opposite way as well so we can do dollar sign the weird opening symbol thing count the name of your variable in my case is deaths and then negative one now you can do the same as i said before you can do negative two negative three uh, however many you want to decrease the amount by i then go back to my stream remove death it decreases by one okay so we've got three commands all set up, ready to go, happy days. How do we then get that to reset completely to zero? Very simple, 
exactly the same you want to just put count deaths and then zero so when you say count and deaths you're basically saying make this variable um, into this specific value so I'm going to set it to zero that's resetting it entirely and that is how you set the commands to actually control what is on the screen but I know what you're all thinking now you're thinking that's all way, very well and good I knew how to do that I knew how to make commands how do I make it appear on my stream like you have well that is actually the easiest part of this okay all you need to do is head over to overlays you want to go to my overlays and you want to create a new overlay the resolution in my case is 1080p and then we're going to go over and we're going to add a new widget so you want to press the plus sign head to labels go to other and bot counter by default it will give you current wins so we can go to settings current wins and then here is the variable that it's going to be looking for i'm going to change that now to deaths is it deaths yeah deaths and as you can see that automatically updated we can change that to deaths and then if we go back to here we can do add death and as you can see that increases the amount on this label here now you can add that in no matter where you are on your stream make it look however you want you can go into text settings add your custom fonts add your custom colors make it look however you want but that is how you make a death counter for your stream hope that helped if it did make sure you hit subscribe leave me a like on the video and also leave me a comment if this worked for you if you have any issues with this whatsoever let me know down below and i'll be sure to try and help you out as best i can Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.